Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today we're looking at one of the new functions in AutoCount 2.0. So before we begin, if you find our guides really helpful, do like and subscribe so that our videos can reach more people organically. So back to our video. So have you actually been in a situation where you actually prepare a quotation, then the client asks to make more changes. Then after that, once you prepare that new quotation, they ask you for additional changes. So after you revise the final quotation, they said, let's refer back to the original quotation. So how do you know which is the first quotation in the system like this? All right. So in AutoCount 2.0, we have this function called the advanced quotation. So let's say we want to create a quotation right now. So we come here to sales, advanced quotation here, and then here we press new. All right. So we will select here the customer, then we press plus and then we can add all the items that we want. Okay, let's say for example, we want tiles A2 times 2, then we set one piece at $19. So let's say for example, we want to save this, right? So let's save this. Then now the client said, oh, let's make some changes right now. So all you just need to do is come here, we press revise, then say, okay, I want more items. So we press plus here again. Here we can say, okay, I want a base ring. All right, then we save it again. All right, and then they say, let's make more changes. I want more things. So I revise here. And then they say, okay, let's say I press plus here. We want a honeycut ham. And we said, because I order so many things, I want a 5% discount for this. Okay. Once done, we just press save again. All right. So now what happened is, we actually have three versions of the same quotation to the client, all right? So if, for example, you want to refer back to an older revision, all you just need to do is press the plus sign here. So you can see here, there's a zero, one, and two. And here you can see all the different prices because of the different items inside. So let's say if you want to refer back to the first, first quotation, all we just need to do is we just come in here and we just double click. And you can see, this is the quotation. Of course, right now, because I'm an administrator, the status automatically approved. And if the client want to confirm, then we can actually press this as a success. All right. Correct. Right. Then after that, you can actually be a successful quotation. All right. So actually, this is how easy it is to manage it in Autocon 2.0. Do leave a comment below if you'd like us to cover another topic. Thank you.